Good evening and welcome to Faith Community Church, the pastor's study. Tonight I'm going to be speaking out of Proverbs chapter 4. This week I picked up a picture. It says, reading can be seriously damage your ignorance. Reading can seriously damage your ignorance. And here's a man sitting in front of about 20,000 books. And I thought, what an interesting picture that is. The average Christian does not read their Bible daily or even weekly, and that's a shame. In Matthew 6, we're told about the Lord's Prayer, and we all know that. Uh, when the Lord says, After this manner, pray ye therefore, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then he says, Give us this day our daily bread. Now, not this Sunday, this, this coming Sunday, I'm going to share the pastor's heart. The following Sunday, I'm going to give a teaching about the Lord's Prayer that you've never heard. It, it, it'll put a different slant on the Lord's Prayer. It makes it come alive rather than a ritual, uh, religious uh, saying that we often hear. But when the Bible says, and Jesus says, pray this way, give us this day our daily bread. Otherwise, what do you have for me today? Another way of saying that is when you open up Scripture, you can say, Good morning, Lord. What's on the plan today? What is your plan for today? And how many of us check the daily weather? We check the daily news. Uh, we make our plans for today. How many of us check with God's plan for us today? I've been teaching about having the Word. You should all have that little spiral notebook filling out the Word that God has given you for today. The Word that specifically that God has given you for this week. We need to hear the Word of God, the written Word of God, the spoken Word of God in our life. Now, many people have just enough knowledge to make them dangerous, and that's in many different fields. They mistake their opinions for facts. I try to read the two best authors on either side of a subject, if it's an important subject, before I make an opinion. And then I have more of a balance that's scriptural because scripture says uh, it's folly to make a, an opinion before you hear both sides. Even if you have an opinion, listen and learn from both sides. I weren't, once went to... Barnes and Noble with a brother, another pastor, and I said, buy any book you want, it's on me, it's on the church. And we walked through Barnes and Noble, he went his way and I went mine, and we ended up ready to leave and I had half a dozen books and he didn't have any and I, I thought he misunderstood. And I said, look, I'll buy the books, it's, it's no problem, buy whatever you want. And he said, I couldn't find anything. I about fell over. I can give you a challenge, people. You can hand me any book, any book, and I can show you dozens of sermons in it. Just open it up, and I'll give you a sermon. God reveals himself through all of creation, the Bible says. All of creation, God reveals himself. One author says, continue getting knowledge until you know that you don't know. Continue getting knowledge until you know that you don't know. See, it's the wise man who will hold his opinion till afterwards. The foolish man just babbles on, gives an opinion about everything. I have about 2,500, 3,000 books that I've read here in my library. But I look at this picture. In this picture, there's probably over 20,000 books. And I think about that. Keep learning till you know you don't know. So I look at my three versus their 20. Who do you think knows the most? When we realize in our lives, what if you look at your life, and what if you had a wise counselor walking with you through your whole life, from childhood up? How about those teen years? How about those early adult years? How about if you could walk with your child through life and be able to guide them, instruct them, lead them, protect them? Would you do it? Could you do it? God says he'll do that for us, just as a father leads a child. So continue in Scripture until it becomes a daily alive with Jesus Christ. That's that word for today. 
You can't open scripture. You should, any page, challenge me anytime you see me. Open up scripture and I'll give you a sermon. I'll give you your word for today. The Bible is a living word of God. But we haven't been taught how to see those. Open up any page and say, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be able to get a word on this page. I guarantee you. Once you start seeing the word, that particular word, you'll realize there's dozens on every page because the Bible is the living word of God. So continue in scripture until it becomes daily alive with you. Now, in Proverbs chapter 4, in the first four verses, he says, Children, listen to the instruction of a father. How would you like your children to have always listened to your instruction? How would you like to have always listened to your parents' instruction? How life would have been so much more blessed? Or how many times it was blessed because we did listen? Well, that's the Father talking to us. That's our Heavenly Father saying, listen, here's my word. And listen to the promises that are in the word. In the Bible alone, there's anywhere from eight to 10,000 promises for the believer. There's anywhere from seven to 8,000 that God promises the believer directly. Think about that. 8,000 promises. How many have you latched on to? How many do you know? How many have you read? How many can you find? When we look at Scripture in Proverbs 4, 1 through 4, he says, he taught me to live in his commandments. Now listen, and I'm just going to skip through the rest of the chapter briefly and quickly, but listen to some of the promises God himself promises you today. He says in verse 5, get wisdom, understanding. Don't let it leave your mouth. It will preserve you. It will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing with all of your getting. Get understanding, and you only get that through knowledge and experience of the Holy Spirit. He says it will exalt you, it will promote you, it will bring you to honor if you embrace the commandments of God. It will also be an ornament of grace about your head, a crown of glory it will give you. Think about this. This is God backing up his word for you as a child of God today. So here, the instruction. Your life shall be full of days that are blessed. He's taught you wisdom. He's led you in the right paths. How many times do you look back in your life and say, oh, why did I go there? Why did I do that? Why did I listen to them? How, why I, was I tempted for that? How on and on and on. But God says he will show you, ah, uh, don't go with that path. Ah, uh, don't listen to that person. Ah, uh, don't get into that car. Don't go to that party. Instead, do this, do that. Then we look and realize the scripture says you won't stumble because God will be with you. Uh, he will also give you life. He will keep you from the path of destruction. Then he goes ahead and promises in verse 20. <clears throat> my son, my daughter, listen, take heed. Hear the words of God. Hear the sayings. Don't let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For their life unto you that find them, health to all their flesh. Now listen to this. The words of God will keep your heart with all diligence, and the issues of life are there. God knows how to prepare your heart. God knows how to build you and strengthen you and guide you. And the more we're reading the scriptures, the more we're looking for the word for today. That's line upon line, precept upon precept. And you look back, and how many times has God blessed you? Count the blessings of God in your life just today. Just sit here and say, how many blessings can you write down just, just off the cuff, blessing after blessing? How about writing every decade of your life? Get a notebook and write, okay, the first 10 years, the 20 years, the 30 years, the whatever, and just off the cuff write how many blessings were in that decade. God was with you before you were born. God's with you when you were born, and God's been with you every day, every day, every year since you've been born. God's with you today. His word's with you. His promises are with you. He says, read my scriptures. Know me. Hear me. Get the word that's for you today. Then he says, ponder the path of your feet. Let all of your ways be established in the kingdom of God. Because you have the Holy Spirit of God. When you've asked Jesus Christ into your life, 
the Holy Spirit comes into your life. When you open up the scriptures, that's the living word of God. What's your word for today? And just as a father promises that to a child, God is promising that to us. Promises, promises. So, like the picture says, reading can seriously damage your ignorance. Rid yourself of ignorance. Now catch this. Spell Bible. B-I-B-L-E. Love, love, love. God loves you tonight, and the Lord bless you.